Hi, my name's Marion Calmer, and I'm a farmer in Western Illinois. I've been doing independent on-farm research now since uh, 1985. And uh, this year uh, we had an extreme drought. And so that kind of amplified some of the differences that we're seeing uh, in where I place my phosphorus and potassium. I have three scenarios that I talked about earlier this summer. Um, when it was real dry there during May and June, and then we had some, some nice rains in July, and then it was dry in August. Uh, one of the plots was no phosphorus potassium for the last 15 years. Uh, the next scenario is where we've applied about $1,100 worth of P and K. Uh, it's been on the surface. And then the third scenario is where we took another plot where we'd surface applied $1,100 over 15 years and then we actually plowed it down into the root zone. And so uh, we'll put these uh, uh, profiles of my soil tests uh, on the screen there, and you can see that it's severely stratified, which means majority of the nutrients are in the top uh, two inches, and then down in the root zone, many years of no-tilling, uh, those phosphorus and potassium uh, nutrients have not made their way down into that root zone. So we've depleted that area and uh, we could certainly see it this year during, during the growing season. So last year, if you remember, we did this scenario, we actually moldboard plowed and we had a nine bushel advantage when we followed the, the following year with uh, soybeans. So this year, let's look at the data. Um, we have uh, no phosphorus potassium at all at 173 and it was pretty obvious. Uh, that was really struggling through the summer. Uh, where we'd put the P and K on the surface, uh, it went 202 bushels to the acre. And then where we had actually plowed the P and K down on the ground for the second consecutive year, uh, it went 222. So if you're like me, you're asking, okay, how much of the yield advantage came from the fertilizer being in the root zone and how much of it came from the plowing? That I, I do not know. Now, this may not happen at your farm. There, there's certain soil types that this maybe doesn't happen, but I can tell you at my farms, uh, many years of surface applied, I, I've got a serious stratification problem. So uh, this year's data, uh, 173 without any fertilizer, 202 on the surface, and where we plowed it down, 222. So to summarize, <coughs> I'm gonna tell you that the yield advantage to phosphorus potassium it's around 29 bushel to acre. And the yield advantage to plowing it down or putting it in the root zone is 20 bushel per acre. So uh, we've got a soil warrior that we're gonna use this fall. And you can see we're out here and uh, we're in between the, the old corn stalk rows. And our objective here is to strip till uh, ahead of 30 inch beans uh, for next year. And then also we'll be in the bean stubble and we'll be strip tilling and applying P and K uh, and nitrogen in the trench. And you can see how it's loosened up the soil. It's gonna be blacker, gonna be warmer, drier, and gonna be less compacted for next year. So it'll be interesting to see what the results are for next season. But I wanted to bring you up to speed uh, that we did get a 20 bushel advantage uh, from having the nutrients in the root zone. So uh, with that, uh, if you have any questions, you can call me on my cell phone or you can text me at 309-368-1182. If you've got any questions about combine, setting your combine, or uh, you need some um, upgrades for your corn head, give us a call at our front office at uh, 309-629-9000. Or you can always visit our website and see all of our YouTube videos at calmercornheads.com. With that, thanks for watching the video and have a safe conclusion to harvest.